Hi, Martin here. Today we're going to convert our 45 RFE transmission to a 545 RFE transmission. So we're going to go from a 4 speed to a 5 speed. And that is simply done by changing out the TCM, this transmission control unit, and the and you simply gain a gear by that. There's no you don't even have to look at that transmission to do this. So this is a very simple mod. And uh, I got this TCM out of an 04 Jeep Grand Cherokee at my local pick apart here in town. And I think I spent maybe $35 for it. And you can also get a warranty at your local pick aparts. Uh, and it is literally almost nothing. Uh, this would have probably maybe cost $2 for a 30 day warranty. And uh, they don't even care. You can go back to them and just tell them you don't like the way it smells and they will warranty out that item. So there's no risk in buying a used one from Pick Apart. All right, well, let's get started and see what's involved in uh, changing that out. And then I'm also going to take you for a drive to show you the RPM difference before and after. And you're going to also see the shift points on the tack and then we're going to cruise it at 65 miles an hour as well and you're going to see the difference from the 45 to the 545 transmission all right let's to get started okay the first thing we got to do is get this air box out of the way unfortunately i tried removing just this uh air intake right here uh the tube and i cannot get it out of here there's just not enough room to remove it to get to the bolts here to, to the TCM which is located right up front here of the vehicle now so what I got to do is remove the entire box and if you got an aftermarket type air cleaner it, that'll probably help you out quite a bit you'll probably be able to get to these bolts really easy that hold this in here Now I can see we got one of the bolts right here. There's another one right down here. That's a 10 millimeter right there. Now there's three fasteners holding the uh, air box into place. You got one right down here. This happens to be what they call a E socket or a and yeah, this is an E12 is the size on this. It looks like a Torx, but just backwards. It's an Innie instead of an Audi. Um, so I got that one there. That spun off really easy. Then you got the 10 millimeter nut, like I mentioned before. And then there's another one of these outside underneath this tube. Um, really hard to get to. I got it actually came off with my fingers. I was able to spin it off. Really amazing. All right, let's take this on out of here. Okay, remove the air box. There we go. All right, now what we got here on the connector is one eight millimeter bolt. Go ahead and loosen that up and the connector will pull itself off as you loosen it for the most part. As you can see, there it's pulling itself off. Now you may want to disconnect the battery, negative. You know, that's probably what the service manual says. I'm not doing that. Now there are three 13 millimeter bolts holding this uh, bracket that is attached to the vehicle that is holding the TCM in place. You can remove that out as a unit, change out the unit, the TCM and put it back in or there's three eight millimeter bolts holding the TCM to the bracket and just remove those that's what I'm going to choose to do they're easy to get to so 
They're also a Phillips head screw as well. And there you have it. All right, here's the one that I got from the 04 Cheap Grand Cherokee. Now we're gonna just simply reinstall that. I hope this one works. Okay, I'm, I'm sure it is. Uh, because of the vehicle I got it out of, I dropped a valve seat, so I don't suspect there should be anything wrong with this TCM. I've actually had it for uh, a number of years and never tested it. Well, actually, that uh, one just threw rockers. That's right, it had uh, thrown a, a rocker on it and broke the cylinder head. And it was a shame that vehicle only had like 113,000 miles on it and it was an HO engine. You place the connector in there and then it will draw itself in as you tighten this bolt up. There we go. Bolt started. There. Okay. Get the air box put back in here and we're going to take it for a drive. Now this front one, kind of difficult to get to, especially with this tube in the way. If that tube wasn't there, it would be easy, but I'm, I can get it on, my fingers on it. There. Second gear. Third. Fourth gear. Torque converter locked. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take it up to uh, 65 miles an hour and we'll record the uh, RPM at that speed. Alright, right there you can see doing 65 and we're just a little over 2,000 RPM, about 2,100, maybe 2,050 right there. And this is with the 45 RFE transmission and 392 gears. All right, we're going to give this a try here. I'm on an on-ramp. I'm going to come to a complete stop. And it's got an uphill grade on this on-ramp, so that's good, so we can see the shift points. Okay, there it went into second, right? Third. Fourth. Fifth. Torque converter locked. Okay, I'm going to bring it down to 65 miles an hour and uh, we'll see where we're at. Okay, right there, we're at 65. And look at that. We're turning maybe, what is that? 1900 RPM right there. 
so we did improve it. We dropped, uh, what, a couple hundred RPM. And we should be able to get better gas mileage by that, doing that. All right, as you can see with the test drive, uh, you can see the extra gear in there, plus the reduction in RPM at 65 miles an hour. So that's definitely gonna help improve the MPGs, your gas mileage. And we definitely need all the help we can get right now with today's gas prices to re you know, get any uh, better gas mileage than we're getting right now. And um, I'll do a, a follow up or I'll post it down in the description on what I'm getting right now and how much it improved my gas mileage. Uh, as soon as I get that data, I'll put it in the description. So please uh, hit that subscribe button right down there and that little bell symbol right next to it. And that way you're notified the next time I upload a video. And I'm also an Amazon affiliate. Please check out the links down below where you can do all your Amazon shopping through one of those links. And that way the channel earns a small commission. I sure appreciate that. All right. Thanks again for watching and we will see you on the next one.